Mr. Speaker, I rise to make a statement on the status of our banana industry. After one year of assuming office as Minister of Agriculture, I am pleased to provide an update on our progress. Mr. Speaker, when I last addressed this Honorable House on the status of the banana industry earlier on in May of this year, I indicated that our banana outputs over the last two to three years have plummeted to an all-time low. Let nous me parler dernière fois en mai l'année ça là. Fig nous situation industry fig la terre dans mauvais mauvais conditions. Trade with our UK partners had been halted as our banana industry experienced some key challenges, which included lack of supply of production inputs. Quand nous savons à d'entendre nous tenons problème pour ces farmers jeunes sel nous savons qui m'a dit pour sel monté faire un petit sac qui est allé pour 48 dollars avec un petit moment il vivait presque en 100 dollars. We had market inefficiencies, loss of access to the UK market. Nous pas de cavan fig pour presque yon l'année et demi en langue Lack of financial resources to revitalize or rejuvenate banana fields. Financial crisis experienced by the NFTO, which resulted in the inability to pay for inputs, packaging materials, and other critical expenses. Winfresh had gone into administration and therefore ceased to exist from July 2019. The NFTO was ill-equipped to carry out the functions of Winfresh in an efficient and effective manner. And we all know the passage of Hurricane Elsa in July 2021, resulting in a loss of approximately 87% of our banana crop. Mr. Speaker, these challenges led to a direct negative impact on our banana quality and quantity. Our banana industry had collapsed, so St. Lucia was denied a 22 banana contract by Sainsbury. Mr. Speaker, while all these challenges stated previously may have suggested the end of the banana trade, our government remained focused and committed to reshaping and repositioning the banana index industry. Let nous tant tout ces bagarres qui sont faites à votre figla, côté monde de Gadi, nous passons jamais vie vingt figla anglité. Nous n'y un gouvernement led by Miss Honorable Philip J. Pierre qui était très concerné et que nous fait tout ça nous devons faire pour chain industry figla aller. Assuming office, upon assuming office, our government, a Saint Lucia Labour Party government that seeks to put people first immediately set out to deal with the issues to restore farmer confidence and encourage farmers to replant and cultivate bananas. Mr. Speaker, in May of this year, a technical team from Prima visited St. Lucia to ascertain the state of readiness to rec re recommence trade with the UK. Our team Prima visited St. Lucia in May of this year. Yo te kay pou an disizyon pou kumanse achete fig from set lisi apre yon lane e demi kote nou pate ni an 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 kote nou kay vann fig bay lot peyi ek yo vini set lisi yo mache an se plantation an ek yo vini gade pou koyo si nou te pawe I am pleased to report that the findings have indicated that our visited sample farms were among the highest standards and comparable to any well-kept banana farm found in other parts of the world. Yo wè kondisyon fig nou, ek yo di, se plantasyon te adan standard, kote yo kwe ki comparable ek lot plas yo ka achete fig from la terre. Mr. Speaker, it is based upon the external evaluation of the hard work of our banana farmers. Ek mou vle wè me siye tout se farmers la ki pwen an decision pou 
produit qui a été fait là, plantation à dans condition, côté nous de ça, fait prima oué, n'a nous pas oué, pour vous faire vivre l'Angleterre. And the hard work of our, our banana farmers, Mr. Speaker, the government, the banana task force, and NFTU, that Prima was confident that we should recommence trade in the UK. Mr. Speaker, I am pleased to report to this honorable house that we have recommenced the shipment of our bananas to the UK for the past nine weeks. So in neuf semaines, nous commençons à voir fig vie L'autre pays est Prima, c'est un de deux supermarchés là qui a acheté FIG from nous. Et je veux remercier le gouvernement de Saint-Louis, je veux remercier le cabinet là pour tout ce que nous avons ces femmes NFTO pour faire sa fête. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes capables de restaurer les production levels back to our contractual obligations of 2,000 boxes per week as of the end of July 2022. The hard work and commitment of our farmers, field officers, government, the Banana Task Force, and the NFTU has paid off. Mr. Speaker, while we celebrate this achievement, there are still challenges facing the industry. Mavle du Boutissia, pour dire that gouvernement, j'ai fait tout bagay qui n'y pour fait à l'industrie. Mais côté nous, Henny, le nous, tout un gouvernement, en juillet l'année passée, nous a fait un petit mètre pour gouer. Et nous allons continuer à travailler avec ces femmes pour faire plus pauvre. Nous ne pouvons pas être debout ici et nous devons arriver en France. Parce que nous ne pouvons pas faire des pièces pour mettre ces femmes à côté de nous passer. Nous nous concentrer sur l'Angleterre, nous nous concentrer en Wizon et nous allons commencer à faire bon pauvre à bas gouvernement Saint-Louis-Chalébapat. Mr. Speaker, while we celebrate this achievement, there are still challenges facing the industry, as I mentioned. The UK banana market is highly competitive. Once you lose your spot on the market shelves, it becomes an uphill battle to regain that position. Farmers, we must orient our mindsets in keeping with international standards in order to gain competitive advantage. Mr. Speaker, the banana industry is significantly impacted by the, by the high fuel prices. Banana industry has faced a situation where the bateau has increased the price of 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 the price the the cost of shipping has doubled. We are restricted by the limited shipping options available to us in the region. Mr. Speaker, on average, our bananas take approximately 21 days to reach the UK. Figla ka point presque trois semaines pour vivre l'Angleterre, while our competitors can export theirs to the UK within 12 to 18 days. The extended journey time can present quality issues for our bananas. I think that it is now time for us to explore all our shipping options in an effort to reduce cost and travel time. Mr. Speaker, on the positive side, we are extremely grateful to God for the high levels of rainfall received thus far. The much needed rainfall will help irrigate the farms and increase the yield size and quantities. The availability of fertilizer and other inputs locally will greatly assist the farmers in the, efforts, in the efforts to increase the yield size, fruit quality, and volumes. Mr. Speaker, we have estimated that the volumes will increase significantly by the end of August into the first week of September. Last month, Mr. Speaker, I had the opportunity as Minister for Agriculture to meet with our UK supermarket partners, Prima and Fives who are ripening agents for Red Rose and Sainsbury supermarkets, respectively. So, I have the opportunity to engage Prima, Fives, the people who are by Red Rose and Sainsbury, to discuss what the government has done for the farmers and to ensure that we have the chain market and to produce one fig at a time. The high market is the highest quality. Right. I also had the opportunity to receive and see our I also had the opportunity to receive and see our bananas go through the Prima ripening facility. The process was very, very meticulous, meticulous 
attention to detail is of the highest level. The bananas are examined upon arrival, then they are repackaged. The defective ones are rejected and form part of a quality claim against the NFT1 farmers. The good bananas are repackaged and placed in the ripening cham chambers for processing. Once the fruit is ripening, Mr. Speaker, they are sent to the supermarkets. Mr. Speaker, discussions with Prima, Prima were very encouraging as they in indicated that they are very pleased with the quality of the fruits they've received from St. Lucia so far. Prima, dis-moi that you're too content a quality fig la St. Lucie commence vie, voyez am am l'anglite depuis mai. June, pour 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 Ça c'est côté c'est tactique à quand les figues là, ça c'est yon a c'est de ces problèmes là yoni et nous qu'à quoi faire mal qu'à travailler pour faire plus mal pour résoudre ces problèmes là. Mr. Speaker, I was extremely pleased when the Prima Quality Control Manager, Mr. Steve Whitehouse, stated and I quote, and I quote, Saint Lucia banana is one of the sweetest bananas on the market that I have tasted. Yo di fig Saint Lucie c'est on a c'est am fig la qui pli dou en haut la tia ek dou konsiwo indeed there is something unique about the taste of our bananas that we should seek to market Mr Speaker <laughs> my Mr Speaker my other meeting with fives was good at increasing banana volumes into the UK via the Sainsbury supermarket chain and other prospective supermarkets which are linked to the ripening agent. Our discussion, discussions were promising but inclusive. Mr. Speaker, I was advised by, by the five representatives that they will be reporting to Sainsbury after our meeting. They indicated that they could not give a confirmed commitment at this time unless they had consulted with Sainsbury. The next steps will require a technical team from Fives and Sainsbury to visit St. Lucia, to visit our farms, the banana farms, in order to assess our state of readiness to export to Fives and Sainsbury. However, they were very happy to know that we have recommenced exporting our bananas to the UK. Mr. Speaker, I would like to thank our Prime Minister, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, for his continuous support towards the banana industry and our farmers. On every occasion when I speak to the Prime Minister, he's always inqui inquiring about the status of the banana industry. He has gone further by facilitating the financial and technical support needed to revive the operations of the NFTO, including the provision of free oil to our banana farmers. And Mr. Speaker, I want to make an, an announcement right now that we will be giving a free cycle of oil to our banana farmers in the next few days. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister continues to encourage me to reach out to our, our partners in the UK as we seek to build on the successful working relationships and secure market presence. Mr. Speaker, in showing commitment to the banana industry, farmers and our society at large, a Labour Party-led government, one that puts people first, want to remind the population that bananas are widely consumed around the world. Furthermore, our farmers are amongst the best banana producer, producers in the world. The taste of our bananas is the sweetest in the world, as I expressed earlier. Mr. Speaker, although some of the of the view that some of the view that the banana industry is not viable since the collapse, we have worked very hard to gain access to the UK and regional markets, giving our farmers an opportunity to trade. Because Shai Munkadi, nous pas de gai jamais voué fig vie l'anglité. 
gouvernement ça n'a pas parlé et que nous pas de ça fait mais nous avons commencé nous avons continué nous avons continué et nous avons gardé qui manière plus fama plus fig que ça allait l'anglité today we are exporting both internationally and regionally on the regional front a total of 6,500 boxes of bananas are exported to Barbados, Trinidad, and Tobago, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Antigua weekly. Mr. Speaker, it's our intention to try and raise the regional threshold to 10,000 boxes per week. We must employ our best efforts to help sustain the banana trade because the industry has the potential to provide social and economic benefits for our society. Mr. Speaker, I thank you.